With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. The given question is the correct sequence of reagents from those listed below for the following conversion is. So to make this conversion, here are some reagents given and which is the correct order of these three arrangements we have to find. So this is trans 1, 2, dicyclohexane, dicyclohexane ethene and this is cis 1, 2, di, dicyclohexane ethene. So this is trans form and this is cis form. So we have to convert this trans form into cis form using these reagents. So to convert the trans form into cis form, what we will do? So this is the trans form, right? So first we will break this double bond by treating it with Br2. So after bromination, what we will get? So here bromine will be added. And after the addition of bromine, when it is treated with soda amide, so here soda amide will act as a base and bromine will be eliminated. So after the elimination of bromine, an ethyne molecule will be generated. Substituted ethyne molecule will be generated. So when this ethyne is subjected to reduction, that is when it is subjected to hydrogenation in presence of catalyst palladium, hydrogen will be added across this triple bond and we will get cis form of the product. So this is our final product, that is cis form. So we have converted the transform into transform into cis form. So by using the reagents Br2, after that sodium amide or soda amide and after that reduction using hydrogen and palladium catalyst right so first we had made use of bromine so first will be 2 after that NaNH2 1 and after 1 reduction that is 3 so the correct sequence will be 2 1 3 look at the options 4 1 3 no second one 3 4 1 no 2 1 3 yes option C will match with 2 1 3 so option C is the right answer. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.